Oh, I just stepped in a puddle and now my foot is wet. Cause I could be October, baby. You could be the 31st. Hi guys, it is October 8th. Welcome to the vlog. I like, can't keep my eyes open. I got to work half an hour early, so at least I'm not late. But I've just been sitting here uh, going through Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, it is Monday. I am here at work. I <clears throat> keep coughing, so I don't know what's wrong with me. That's awesome. Mondays are Mondays, so this should be great. I think my least favorite part of Monday is everyone asking you what you did over the weekend. Like, I had a good weekend. I did, but I work with two other people in my immediate office, and then, like, outside the door, there's a bunch of other people in their own offices and stuff. And like they asked me what did you do and then we all talk about our weekend and then every person that comes in like from the different departments is like how was your weekend what did you guys do and then we all take turns saying what we did and I say what I did over the weekend at least 10 times that's the same on Friday too everyone comes in and asks what are you up to this weekend and then we all take turns and say what we're doing and like it's nice everyone is nice it's a nice thing to ask and be interested in people's lives but it's a little much sometimes and we don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> yes, that is my complaint about Monday, but we're gonna make it through the week and just keep on keeping on everybody. So I will talk to you guys after work. Oh my God, I love when Lincoln Park just randomly comes on the radio because that never happens. And this is a song that literally is never on the radio and I'm pumped. <laughs> Question, why does my <laughs> camera look like this? Oh God, hold on. There we go, that's a little better. Sorry you couldn't see anything. It is also so bright because there is a white truck parked in front of me and the sun is out and it's like 80 degrees, even though over the weekend it was cold. I don't understand. So I actually got out of work an hour early. That never happens, but I'm so excited. So my plan after work was to go to the doctor. Yeah, I'm going to another doctor. Did I talk about this yesterday? I can't remember. I just feel like when I went to the doctor on last Thursday, she was very quick to write it off as anxiety. And like, I feel like there's more to be done or like more to be talked about. And even so, like after she said anxiety, she was like, I'll give you a handout on it. And it was literally a sheet of paper that said how to do like mindful breathing, which I get is important. Like focusing on your breathing and doing some meditation but then she was also like yeah go to psychology today and like look into therapy blah 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 I'll write down names for you and then she never wrote down names for me and I'm like girl <laughs> you didn't help me at all and now on the same radio station all American rejects wow I won't even have to use my aux cord today <laughs> anyway so I found another walk-in clinic and I actually like looked around their website they seem kind of like better I don't know so I'm just gonna go check it out I have an extra hour to do this which is exciting so I keep you updated do you ever have those songs that like terrify you anytime they come on I heard the beginning of this one which is come with me now by the Congos it just came on the radio and it, it just like gives me the chills it sounds very satanic to me like the way they're singing the like weird way this part freaks me out <laughs> The way like their instruments are twanged, it, like it just sounds evil. And he's singing "Come with me now, I can bring you down, like down to hell." Right? It sounds very satanic, and I do not like it. But I'm just listening to it for the sake of listening to the radio. But tell me down below what songs scare you. <laughs> Hi guys, I am on a little stroll through my neighborhood at night. <laughs> I just swear it gets dark so early now. It's seven. 30 and it's pitch black so that's cool but I am on the way to Walgreens because crazy right the doctor I saw actually prescribed something so at least like if I take that I feel like I'm gonna feel better even if it's not actually like medically affecting me I feel like it will just make me feel better because I'm actually like solving the problem by taking medicine that's how my brain works but yeah basically i mean i told her that the other doctor said it was anxiety so she like she seemed really smart and really great and she was like actually thinking about other things it could be we did an ekg and that showed that my heart is normal so that is good um and then she asked if i had a cold recently and i was sick the beginning of last week i had like a runny nose and a weird cough for maybe two or three days even today like I've been coughing 
So I don't know if that has something to do with it. She said there might be some like leftover inflammation in my chest from that. So she prescribed me prednisone, which sounds familiar. I think I've taken it before for another like really bad sore throat I had. So it's just supposed to reduce inflammation, which may be going on like in my chest somewhere, which is why it feels tight. It's a very loud airplane. I'm gonna need that to stop. <laughs> so that is what I am going to Walgreens for right now. Super exciting. I actually kind of like walking around. Is that a rat? Oh my god. Maybe it's just a chipmunk. Oh no, that's <laughs> that's a rat. Okay. No. Right after I say I like walking around. Okay. I'm gonna ooh, really fast, really fast. Go past this rat. Okay, city life. Gotta love it. Um <laughs> gonna pick up my stuff and talk to you later. I accidentally told the doctor the wrong Walgreens <laughs> because I've never like picked up a prescription since I moved so I didn't really know. I just googled Walgreens on Lawrence which is the street like near me and the wrong one popped up. <laughs> so they were like we don't have it and I was just walking around Walgreens with a bottle of Drano because we needed Drano waiting for my prescription but now it is uh, in my hands. I have it. And now I'm going to stop at the grocery store by my house because I need avocados. And they always have the best avocados. I've bought ones at, I feel like I've talked about this before. <laughs> Why am I having deja vu? I bought some at Target one time and they never got ripe. They sat on the top of my fridge for a week and never got ripe. But the grocery store by my house has great avocados. This is the everyday stuff that I'm resorted to vlogging about because I don't do anything else. But I hope you guys still like watching. I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave some comments down below and make sure you're subscribed. I am absolutely exhausted so I need to edit and upload this vlog and then go to sleep. But thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!